Hello and welcome to this video on the Closing Score Sentiment Indicator. Closing Score accurately and effectively extracts sentiment from the current stream of price and volume data and converts it into an easily interpreted 0 to 100 scale. Closing Score's scale is simply a stock's true range, the low to the high of the day, divided into 100 equal divisions. The stock's closing score is then calculated utilizing the following formula. The close minus the low divided by the high minus the low times 100. The result of this formula produces each bar's closing score, which is then placed within the scale produced by the true range, providing the exact strength of an equity's close for the day, or if you follow stocks in a shorter time period, the bars you are following. The stock market is an arbitration site where forces compete to influence or control an equity's current and future price. Each day's price action contains within it the collective arbitrated sentiment of all of these traders. Closing score reverse engineers these prevailing emotional attitudes or the sentiment that the traders entering or exiting a stock were experiencing when they bought or sold this stock and assigns an accurate rating system or score to this information. This video describes in detail how the closing score indicator accomplishes exactly that and why it's a very simple, obvious, and accurate predictor of which way a stock will move next. Maybe not tomorrow, primarily because of quants, algos, and reversion to mean opportunities, but within the next few days. Before we examine the exact process utilized to extract sentiment from price and volume, let's take 30 seconds to look at the psychology that drives this very profitable leading indicator. Closing score works on a simple but obvious observation. At the end of the trading day, the opportunity to take a position is coming to an end, and the final price, when compared to the entire range of the trading day, can provide valuable insight into the prevailing demand demonstrated by traders. The stronger the demand traders exhibit to be in the stock, the closer the close of the day will be to the high of the day. If a large number of investors are desperate to get into a stock, the price will continue higher until the closing bell rings, making the close equal to or very close to the high of the day. The relative magnitude or strength of this demand exposes to traders the prevailing sentiment. If subsequent trading days also demonstrate the same exuberance of demand right up to the close, then it will often move upwards for weeks. Traders rushing to the exits to sell a stock produce the exact opposite effect as the demand disappears, the supply increases, resulting in lower prices. Sentiment extraction from price really is that simple, but several other trading observations have long provided additional confirmation of this concept. It has been widely documented that stocks trending up tend to close closer to the high of the day than the low of the day. You now know exactly why this happens. This produces smaller and smaller gaps between the close and the high of the day, often resulting in the close of the day and the high of the day merging. A downward trend reverses this process with the closes occurring closer to the low of the day than the high. Both situations are strong leading indicators providing confirmation of a trend's current direction, the momentum propelling this direction, and potentially impending price direction changes. To produce a new statistically significant technical indicator from any observation within a stock's chart, you need to establish three independent but hopefully strongly correlated elements. First, when your new observation occurs, it must be strongly associated with a corresponding change in the stock's price. The occurrence rate of these signals should be no more frequent than the changes in price direction that your new indicator hopes to flag. This would be your second requirement. 
Finally, your indicator must have a strong correlation between the magnitude of your indicator's signal and the future strength of the moves that this new signal is flagging or projecting. Standard deviations are indicated in the bar chart on the left. This frequency of occurrence chart is often called a bell-shaped curve because of the shape the distribution of normal occurrence rates takes on. If you take note of the sigma stratifications above the bell curve, you will see that the sigma scores increase as the rate of occurrence dramatically decreases. To put this another way, the most frequently occurring signals generated with little or no significance will occur at the highest points in the bell-shaped curve, indicating the highest occurrence rates, and get stratified as one sigma. Smaller rates of occurrence produce two sigma classifications. Statistical significance occurs at the extreme edges of the bell-shaped curve, becoming three sigma signals. Closing scores are indicated by the large bar on the right side of this slide. As we sequence this chart from signals that produce the most negative closing score signals between 0 and 3 to the highest positive signals between 97 and 100, you can see that the second qualification for a new signal is established. That is, these extremes in closing scores are strongly correlated to the three sigma signals and these signals occur seldom enough that the signals produced have a strong correlation for indicating both the change in your stock's direction, the strength of this change, as well as the likelihood that this new direction can be projected into the future. The following section demonstrates exactly how the closing score indicator is calculated. If the low of the day is zero and the open is 20 cents, the close is 80 cents, and the high of the day is a dollar, a closing score of 80 will be produced. Since the range is one dollar or 100 cents, the price at the close will also become its closing score. Obviously, this is an artificially constructed example to clearly demonstrate the relationship between the equity's close, 80 cents, and its closing score of 80 with a true range of 100. Stock.genie's closing score sentiment is displayed by placing dots within 10 bands. Each band represents one-tenth of the zero to 100 scale. Positive indicator dots and bands are green, and negative dots and bands are red. The significance of each dot is directly proportional and relative to how close to either extreme, zero or 100, or sigma threes, they occur. The center line of this scale is 50, and this produces a neutral band between the 45 and 55 levels. Closing scores plotted on this band utilize gray dots over a blue background band. Each dot produced indicates three things to the trader. If an inner ring appears, the dot is within 3% of the extreme values of 0 or 100. If a red or green dot has a black dot in its center, it's indicating that the sentiment being indicated by the closing score is being confirmed by an increase in volume. When dots appear that are within 3% of either extremes, 0 or 100, and the volume is greater than the 14-day moving average, the icon displayed resembles a bullseye. Bullseyes are signaling extremely strong or extremely weak trader sentiment for this equity at this point in time. Keep in mind that demonstrations of extremely weak or extremely strong sentiment are the most likely to be projected as momentum into the next trading bar. So the question becomes, is there a tradable correlation between extreme closing scores and the start of new trends? When closing scores are generating extreme signals or bullseyes that are close to either 0 or 100 and confirmed by above average volume, the correlation between these signals and a trading opportunity becomes almost absolute. Contradictions to this are predictable and identified later on in this video. To help make this demonstration clear, we're going to superimpose the highlighted bullseyes from the closing score indicator onto the specific candles that generated the signal. The following example represents closing scores generated from an actual trading view chart and demonstrates both the short-term and long-term implications 
of extreme signals generated by the indicator. The first signals we will examine in this Juno chart, A, is an extremely negative indicator of center. Because this bullseye contains the center volume dot, we wanted to briefly touch on exactly what this means. As you can see in the turning point volume indicator, the 14-day moving average of volume is indicated by coloring the background of our turning point volume indicator a dark blue. The blue line enables you to clearly see exactly how much the current volume bar exceeds that level and that the current volume bars increase over the volume's 14-day moving average level generates the center dot producing the bullseye icon. Here you can see the large negative candle for the day closed within 3% of the lowest point of the trading range of the day, generating this red bullseye. A downward trend can be clearly seen starting from this negative red bullseye until there is a dramatic change in the sentiment and a positive green bullseye is generated at point B on this chart. B is the exact opposite of the signal produced at point A, a large positive candle confirmed by volume at the 14-day moving average. This results in a clear, strong, upward trend emanating from the point at which this positive bullseye was generated. There are times when strong closing scores can appear in the middle of a trend apparently, inaccurately, or falsely indicating an impending change of price direction. When these occur, you should examine your chart carefully, paying close attention to the trends produced by subsequent closing scores. In this example, the price continues to climb for four more bars. However, at this exact same point in time that the negative bullseye was generated, the closing scores started descending, in this case signaling an impending top. This can be seen in the downward slope of the gold line, indicating the linear regression of the closing scores. You can select between displaying a linear regression of closing score or utilize a simple moving average in the format palette of this indicator. As you can see in this example, the linear regression of all closing scores can also provide you with valuable information, warning you several days in advance of a change in sentiment and as a direct result, an eventual change in the direction of the price. Bullseyes have the potential to be counterintuitive. D. The end of an uptrend can be indicated by a very positive bullseye. This has sometimes been referred to as irrational exuberance or blow-off top day. If the bullseye occurs because of positive rumors, news, or events, you will see an increase in the angle of attack of the prevailing trend. It becomes steeper. Then, a continuation of the prior trend is likely. The simple rule here is, if you get a bullseye that is the same color as the prevailing trend, well into that trend, without any significant news, it can signal the end of that trend and you should start watching for an impending turning point. E has produced a strong closing score signal, and it would be a likely assumption that this is probably indicating a change in our stock's future pricing. There is one thing missing, and that is the volume confirmation dot at the center of this indicator. If we take a close look at the volume, we can see that it was very low, well below the 14-day moving average that would have confirmed this signal. Examining this dot's candle and the subsequent candles after it, you can see that the prevailing trend was not in any way affected. Observing volume dramatically improves the accuracy of determining the sentiment of traders in any stock. If the volume is increasing at the same time that the closing score is increasing, you have a very strong leading indicator of future price increases. Of course, if you want to short a stock, the opposite is true with the following exception. You still want to see strong volume confirming your closing scores indicator. If a closing score is an accurate indicator of price direction, then seeing multiple very high or very low closing scores within a defined relatively short period of time becomes a very reassuring and valuable confirmation of the current trend's direction. With this relationship in mind, there is another indicator provided in the stock.genie package 
that displays exactly that information. It's called closing score and long tail counts. We'll get to the long tail counts in just a minute. Closing score counts produce a running total of all candles that meet defined parameters of how close the high of the day or the low of the day is to the close of the day for a 10 day period. This produces columns that range between 1 and 10 within this 10 day time frame. Each individual equity will respond differently, but any score above 5 for each of these respective counts is a strong indication of increased strength and will indicate up or down trends. There are two separate settings within the Format Options panel that the trader can define producing both bars and lines. I set the bars to a tight parameter of 90 for the high of the day and at 10 for the low of the day and the lines to a looser 75-25 setting. Both crossovers, columns, or lines provide you with a good confirmation of the signals generated by the primary gene or twist indicators. The blue column indicates trading days that have produced long tails and again provides you with a 10-day running total. Because most institutional and all program trades are designed to be executed within a specific price range or bracket. When retail traders' orders are filled outside of those parameters, the only orders remaining to fuel the market are orders whose prices are bracketed and thus will revert the trading range back into this pricing channel, producing long tails on those trading days. Of course, there are other circumstances that can cause long tails, but when you see a series of days that all have long tails, and the price trend is not changing dramatically, combined with approximately equal trading volume, for those days you are in all probability seeing institutional and or programmed trades. As you observe your stock's long tail counts and you see it incrementally increasing bar after bar, you will often be able to correlate this with a corresponding uptick in price. When this occurs, and the counts climb above 8, there are often significant increases in the price over the days or weeks following the long tail count increase, producing a leading indicator. This is a very good thing to see when you're looking for stocks about to make a dramatic move, and more often than not, it will be to the upside. Stock.genie's website provides an extensive list of links and resources under Traders Links. We've also produced an article that was published in the June 2016 issue of Technical Analysis of Stocks and Commodities. The article's title is Closing Score, Extracting Sentiment from Price. This article describes the closing score indicator in detail. The Stock.GE site also provides an extensive overview of the many sentiment indicators available to today's online traders, providing links to many additional sources of information under stock.genie forward slash closing score. Stock.genie's closing score and closing score count are the only true technical analysis tools that directly extract sentiment, be it positive or negative, from the price and volume of any publicly traded equity. Although it might not seem like it at first, the count long tails indicator is also a sentiment indicator as it is giving you a glimpse into the intent to buy sentiment of institutional traders. Closing scores can be instrumental in disclosing changes in demand directly affecting current supply, resulting in price changes and the momentum driving the current trend, as well as for warning traders of impending changes in new trend directions. If you would like to see what signals the Stock.Genie platform are currently generating for a stock you own or you're interested in, just send us an email through the contacts link at the bottom of any page of our website or directly email us your requested stock to www.stock.genie.com forward slash contact. Thanks again for watching this video and good luck with your trading.